Well, hello friends, and welcome on in to the fifth part of our Animal Crossing Rags to Riches playthrough. It's a rainy, blustery morning here on Golden Bay, and we are ready to take the day by storm. Get it? I'd really like to focus on getting three stars so we can unlock terraforming. I'm not necessarily in a rush to terraform, but I do really want to lay down paths, so that's the driving factor in making this a goal. With our first campsite villager Henry moving here, it's a good first step. Let's get our first island rating from Isabel. I'm not feeling super optimistic, but let's see what she says. Oh, one star? Well, it's what I expected, I guess. Not too much going on. Unassuming. Okay then. We need more residents. We can recruit. Let's purchase a plot from Tom. 10,000 bells, here you go, sir. Plot acquired. You know what? Don't hybrid flowers also increase an island's rating? Let's hop into nooks and grab some flowers. I do think that could also help. Some yellow, some red. Let's just start with five of each. This area right here is kind of clear. It is a path to my bug and fish storage areas, but oh well, let's get some holes dug. Now, I'm not great with flower breeding, and I know there are a ton of guides online, but we're just gonna wing it and alternate them. There. I don't know if this will actually help, but it can't hurt, right? Let's go visit our boy Henry. In the last episode, Henry was our first campsite villager. We got super lucky because there aren't a ton of smugs that I really like. Aww, I really like his house. I know his boxes aren't unpacked yet, but I really like his wallpaper and his floor. It's cozy in here, especially with the stormy day outside. The Henry Express. Hi, bud. I'm glad to see you too. I think this area here could be a good place for the plot we have in our pockets. I wanna pick up a few of these flowers first. Would it look good here? No, too many trees getting taken out. Well, we've got some cherries in our belly, so let's move these trees around. I think we need some trees back here, or it's going to feel like the island just falls off a cliff into the ocean, which it does, but we don't want it to feel that way better. There. House is down. Trees are shifted so we didn't have to take a single one out with that placement. I really do like the foresty vibe back here. We're back down in the plaza now and OMG look! Flick is here! Our first visit from Flick! We've got a lot of bugs here so let's get our pockets full for the first load. Where are you, Flick? Here! A whole swarm, almost 18,000 bells, not bad. Let's get another pocket full here and another almost 13,000. Our final few bugs for Flick and another 9,700 bells. I don't know, honestly, I'm a little bit bummed at the payouts here. It's not bad, but it really doesn't compare to the money you can make from selling sea creatures to the bin outside of nooks. We do have our plot down, so what do you say we go for a little dreamy hunt? Let's get some nook mile tickets from the ABD here in resident services. Done. Five tickets acquired. Let's head to the airport and get this rolling. Remember, a rule in Rags to Riches is that you can only visit five Nook Mile ticket islands while dreamy hunting. If we don't like any of those five villagers, we have to autofill. The first island is... Tucker. Not bad. Definitely doesn't fit the vibe of Golden Bay, but he's cute. I think he's supposed to be a woolly mammoth, right? Gonna pass on Tucker, but he's not bad. On to the next one. Ticket number two. Fingers crossed. Okay, a two-tier island here. Let's get the ladder out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I see Sherb up there. My boy. Well, this is a no-brainer. One of the end objectives for the Rags to Riches challenge is that I have to have two top 10 villagers on my island at one time. The top 10 villagers are determined by the rankings on animalcrossingportal.com. And as of this recording, Sherb is in the top 10. Not only is Sherb an absolute cutie, but he's also getting us closer to achieving an end game objective. Sherb, please come to my island. That was a great start. However, we do need more villagers. So let's get another plot from Tom and continue to another island. I think this will be a good spot. Close to Sherb back here in the woodsy elevated part of the island. We'll move this tree so we don't have to get rid of it and done. Looks great. We only used two Nook Mile tickets for that last one. So let's just grab two more from the ABD. And we're off. Island number one. Who is it? Wait, there's no one here. 
What? After a little bit of research, I realized I messed up and I can't get two villagers in one day. Unfortunately, I put that plot down, so that means it's going to autofill and we're gonna have to take whoever autofills. After time traveling ahead, our autofill was Fret. I'll be honest, Fret was a super lucky autofill. He's not in my top 10 favorite villagers, but he's not bad and I'm definitely not complaining. We have two letters here from friends, Darth and Allison. Darth sent me paw slippers. Now we can fulfill our full bear costume dreams. And my friend Allison also sent me some mail. I think I might know what it may be just from the postcard. Yes, it's the black bear cap, just in time for spooky season. I think we ought to throw the paw slippers on and become a full bear. Why not, you know? It's a vibe. Let's chat with Mabel. Oh, oh, it's time, it's time. Finally, she wants me to put down the tailor shop plot. We're gonna have to move these hybrids that I literally just planted, but oh well, I don't even care. I'm just too excited about Abel's sisters finally coming to the island. I think this area over here would be cute. I want them to be a little off kilter, I think. So they're not like directly in a straight line. I feel like that gives more whimsy cottage core vibes. There, placed. I'm really excited for this. I completed all of our 2x Nook Mile tasks for the day, so we're gonna time travel ahead another day. And here's our Abel's O. Ugh, I totally forgot it's going to be under construction all day today. I was hoping it'd be open and ready to go. I know that getting more villagers and getting Abel's was something that was holding us back from three stars. Why don't we pop in, visit Isabel, and see where we are now? My guess is maybe two stars. Hey there, Isabel. Okay. What? Three stars? Heck yes! Paths? Here we come. I do have to wait for Abel's to open before I can download any custom paths, but step one is done. And Tom and Isabel and all of the other villagers are gonna be happy now because KK's agreed to visit Golden Bay. Another mission accomplished. We're on a roll today. I cruised through the 2X Nook Mile tasks again so we can time travel ahead another day to the Abel sister shop opening. Oh, it's our very first KK concert. Look at all these cute villagers. I really am lucky. Fantastic job, KK. We all loved it. We'd love to have you back. Not that we really have a choice. Tom, what are you doing here? I got a copy of Welcome Horizons, love it. And here we go, the terraforming tool, paths. I mean, rivers and cliffs too, great. But seriously, the paths are such a priority right now. And here we are, the Able Sister Shop. It looks so cute here. Let's head right on in and get some paths downloaded. Let's check for a dirt path in the custom design portal. For a cottagecore island, I want something really natural. I think our best bet is going to be that iconic dirt path. If you want the code for this path, I'll be sure to leave the creator code in the notes below this video. There, the final path piece has been saved to my phone. Before we leave, I do wanna check and see what they have today. Let's transform out of our wand outfit. And Nike. Ooh, I do like these tulip hats. I don't know if I need them. I've got my bear hat. Probably not worth the bells if I'm not going to wear them. Let's get the custom path design permit from the ABD. This will allow me to lay custom paths using that pathing tool. 6,000 for the cliff construction? Whoo, pricey, but oh well, gotta do it. And another 6,000 for waterscaping. I think a good place to start would be the airport. In Rags to Riches, we will have visitors and be visiting others a lot. So the airport's a place for that good first impression. I'm a path first kind of gal. I always like to lay paths and then decorate. I know some people like to decorate, put their foliage down and then add the paths, but I'm the opposite. The path set a nice baseline for me. For this first path here, I don't really have a plan and things very well may change. With winding paths like this, I like to put some kind of baseline marker down to give myself a bit of direction. Making this path look natural is so tough. I'm such an even, everything must align kind of gal, so the whimsical is really hard for me, but I'm glad I'm challenging myself. There, I feel good about this. Our first path is done. I'm sure it'll change with time and it will definitely look better once we get some trees, flowers, and decor around it. But this is a really good start. It feels so good to have some pathing down. My goal this episode was to unlock three stars so we could get pathing. And by the end of the episode, I was able to lay my first path down. If that's not a success, I don't know what is. I really appreciate y'all watching this playthrough. I hope you're enjoying watching as much as I am enjoying playing it. If you liked this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you in the next one, friends.